Hey guys, what's up? So before I get into this video, I just want to give an update on the giveaway. So, so far we've had about 203 uh, at the time of recording uh, people taking part, which is really nice to see. Thank you everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, I will probably announce the winner either tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, depending on how things go. Um, and I also wanted to remind people, um, thanks to people who reminded me in the comments, uh, that you need a million credits to trade a rank 3 arcane energy since it is a fully maxed legendary arcane. So please make sure that you have a million credits on you before you, uh, before you enter that giveaway or before tomorrow or the day after if you've already entered. Um... But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, but we'll get into this video now. So someone asked me in the comments about off-meta weapons. Um, so I thought I'd look a bit at it. I don't want to go into much depth. But, um... Oh, okay. I'll, I'll accept that later. Basically, when we're looking for an Eidolon weapon, we're looking for a few things. Uh, the first is a high base damage, obviously. Um, and the second is a semi-decent fire rate, I'd say. Fire rate isn't too important, uh, especially if you have a weapon that has ridiculously high um, damage. And you're looking for crit chance and crit multiplier. Status isn't going to help us at all here, uh, since the Eidolon is immune to status effects. Uh, anything else, punch through... Doesn't really help. Reload, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you might want something with that. And magazine doesn't really matter. Everything else doesn't matter. So I'd say your main things you're looking for are crit chance, crit multiplier. Uh, accuracy actually sometimes can play a part. Especially if you're using uh, a, a gun with a high pellet count. Uh, it will determine like how close you have to stand. Because if you do miss pellets, then that's going to really affect uh, your chances of taking out a limb. So, my weapon of choice is always the Rubico. This is our on-meta weapon at the moment. Uh, it has an exceptionally high crit chance for a sniper. An exceptionally high crit multiplier as well for a sniper. Um, and yeah, it has a decent fire rate, magazine. It's basically the weapon of choice, really. Um, so that's why we use it. It's, it can be spammed. It has a high, a high DPS, very high DPS per bullet. So... Yeah, so that's why we use it. But there are other weapons we can use uh, that are just as effective. And before we start going into them, I just want to say that if you really want to see some off-meta weapons in action, you should check out uh, XXF's channel. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description. He goes through a lot of uh, a lot of off-meta weapons, trying to make them work. So yeah, I would really recommend checking him out. I'll leave his link in the description, as I said. Uh, but we'll have a look here. Uh, going through. Most weapons that are off-meta, we're going to need a Riven 4 to make them work. Um, so, s the person in the comments suggested the Buzzlock. And if we just look here, we can see that it has a pretty decent crit chance and a decent crit multiplier as well. Fire rate's obviously quite high, high magazine. Uh, the reload's not too great, but I don't think we'll have to worry about that too much. Uh, and as you can see, the stats aren't overly high, um, but because of the fire rate and, you know, the fact that it's an automatic machine gun, I think it's a potential for working. I'm not sure if Double has done a video on using the buzz lock or not. He might have done. Um, but I, I do know people who have used uh, the buzz lock to try and hunt, and it is definitely a, a viable weapon. Um, I'm not sure whether you could six cap with it. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's too effective and right now because it's not a hit scan weapon um you won't be able to take out water shields on the gantalist and hydralist uh the, the the bullets just won't hit because it's not hit scan uh there's a bug in the game at the moment uh it's causing some issues so lanka won't work either at the moment um since it's not hit scan so right now buzzlock is going to be off the table Simply because of that, you won't be able to kill the first limb of Gantalist or Hydralist, because the bullet will never hit. Um, 
So other weapons we have, we have the Corinth. That's also another viable weapon. Obviously right now with the bug on the water shields, it's not going to work because it's not a hit scan. If you're using uh, your slug round or secondary fire. Oh, sorry, your primary buckshot. Or I can't remember which one it is, to be honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Corinth can definitely work. Double stun a video on that. Um, dread bows in general. Obviously, right now, no hits. Only hit scan, sorry, so they're not going to work. Um, but yeah, bows have been proven to work. DiQ can work. Dread can work. And Paris can work. Um, they need a lot of buffing to work. But you can get 6 cap with them, provided you have a good enough squad with you uh, who can up your damage substantially during the fight. So, like, the Vault will be putting down extra shields for you to shoot through, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, I mean, you can use stuff like the Javlock as well. It has a relatively high crit chance and uh, crit multiplier. Um... But again, the, off met when the reason that these weapons are off meta is not because they don't do enough damage necessarily. It's because they're just a pain to use. So the javelock has like a spool up time before you fire. Um, it's not hit scan again. Y your chances of get, of actually being able to do a fight with them is is slim at best. Um, Latron is also possible. Doubles done a video on that. Uh, I think the Wraith is the better version as it has the higher crit chance. Um, Lanka is technically on meta still, I guess. Um, but like I said, it's not hit scan, so right now it's not going to work very well. Uh, optical. I see a lot of people talking about the optical. Um, there is an issue with the optical. You can hunt successfully with it. However, the the width of the beam that you fire is quite big. And when you're trying to take out shoulder limbs in particular, uh, you have a chance of the beam not fully connecting with the limb. And it will do zero damage if that happens. Which is why a lot of people choose not to use it. It also has a big spool up time. Um, the fire rate is low down at 2 per second. Uh, if you fully charge, then you also have to time it as well since... You can't hold the charge. As soon as it's charged, the weapon fires. So you have to time it every time, which isn't a huge pain, but it's, it's definitely inconvenient, which is why I'd say it's off meta. Um, so as far as anything else goes, what have we got down here? I'm not sure about the Grinlock. I, I doubt it can be used, to be honest. It has a very low base damage, uh, but the crit chance and crit multiplier aren't too bad fire rate's a bit slow. I just don't think it'll do enough damage, especially as the base damage is, is slash. I might try using a few of these in the future. I'll make some extra videos of them in action just to show you how they look. Um, but yeah. Quartac. Uh, I haven't really messed around with the Quartac that much. Um, it might work. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's got very low stats actually but i suppose if we're firing four pellets might be worth having a look at but yeah I, like i said probably not going to work because of the low base damage there uh shotguns like the tigris uh anything like that the heck because of their widespread it makes it very difficult to take out limbs and shoulders you know it, it's those kind of weapons just aren't going to be viable, really. Um, you could use them. I'm not saying you can't use them. It will just be more inconvenient when you do use them. Um, so, everything else here, like I said, most weapons you can give a shot at, they're just going to be inconvenient. Uh, Volcar Wraith, again, definitely... Definitely a contender as well. You can quite comfortably get six caps with this if you have a good ribbon for it, since it has a very high ribbon disposition. Um, but the point is that it, it's not going to be as easy to use as, say, the Rubico Vectis or the Lanka. Um, there, there's always setbacks to them. Um, so 
If you want to use them for fun, then yeah, you can. But if you want to get the most out of a hunt, then I'd say definitely, and you want it to be an easy hunt, definitely just go for the, the mainstream weapons like the Vectors and all of that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I might make some videos showing showing these weapons off, I guess, just to show you how they work. Um, also as well, we have the release of our, our Arcwing weapons that we can use now. So, I haven't unlocked many of these yet. Uh, only the ones that I need, or I've found I've needed. What we've got in terms of things that can take down, I've definitely seen uh, the Corvus be able to take down uh, Eidolon limbs. Again, on XXF channel, you'll be able to see that. I think it's one of his latest videos he did. So the Corvus is definitely a contender. And on top of that, you know, it, it's a really, really neat weapon, actually. It can one-shot limbs with ease. Uh, and if you're looking for, like, a ribbon for your Rubico, it's going to cost you an unbelievable amount more than it will for a Corvus ribbon. So I think if you're just starting to get into your Chroma roll, then the Corvus might actually be a really nice gun to start with. Um, its crit chance is unbelievable. So you can really, really go hard on this crit chance if you get a good ribbon. Its base is just impact solid. Like it, it, it's such an easy, uh, an easy weapon to kill limbs with. So if you're struggling to get hold of like a decent Rubico ribbon or another ribbon for a primary weapon, seriously think about the Corvus because it is a monster. Um, the spread is not too wide either, so you you, you really want to consider this gun actually. Um, and the other one that people seem to think is good as well is the. Velocitus, um, and it is. It has a decently high crit chance and high crit multiplier. Uh, the one drawback with the Velocitus is that it is only magnetic damage, and the Eidolon really does not do well with magnetic damage. Like, it will absorb most of it. You won't do much damage based on magnetic alone. So once you've built for your radiation, you're actually losing out on damage. I mean, you can still one-shot the limb with it, it's fine, but... Again, like compared with the Corvus here, it's 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 got nothing on it, I don't think. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Don't slate me for it. But yeah, that's that's just what I think. I think the Corvus is probably your best arc wing weapon of choice. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's it for now. In terms of off meta weapons, I suppose if you're running Avara, um, then we can look at secondary weapons as well. Um, Castanas with Avara, definitely a nice choice, uh, as well as Ivara and Glaive if you want to have a fun time. Um, whether they're on meta or not, I don't know really, because they're on meta for Avara. Um, other secondary weapons you could use, um, again, anything that's high DPS with one shot has good crit chance and crit damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure doubles use the plinks as well, so... Yeah, I mean, most things are possible. Uh, if you really want to try them for a bit of fun, then they should work if you have the, if they have the right stats. Yeah, uh, I definitely know Piranha is probably possible. As well as Catch Moon. Catch Moon's definitely a, a good weapon to use. Uh, it has super high DPS. You just have to get quite close since the projectile is quite wide. Um, but other than that, for secondaries, I don't think there's anything else. So I'll finish off just by reminding people about the giveaway. I'll announce it either tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, if you want me to make some specific videos showing uh, hunts with any of the weapons I've listed today, uh, bear in mind, unless they update and fix the problem with water shields, so that they don't only register for hit scan weapons, then I, I won't be I won't be using stuff like the Buzzlock. Um, just because of that, it'll be too much of an effort trying to take down those water shields. Um, but yeah, I think other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Giveaway results either tomorrow or Wednesday. Thanks, guys.